What's up loves? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the brand new Fitbit Versa from the brand Fitbits. It's a fitness activity tracker slash smartwatch. So if you guys are new here, I would greatly appreciate it if you please subscribe to my channel. I would love for you guys to be a part of the fam. This will run you about $199.95. I have the color peach the peach straps with the rose gold aluminum casing. This is in the size small plus large. So first I'm gonna share with you guys what exactly you receive with the Fitbit, its features, the things I like about it, and the things I dislike about it. Let's just start with the box, which I saved for this. So inside, you already have the Fitbit itself. You also receive the additional strap if you wanna change it to the larger band. I really appreciate how they already included this extra strap in here. It also comes with the charging dock. Huge fan of Fitbits. I filmed a whole Fitbit Ulta review, which I'm gonna link right up here in the corner as well as an unboxing video of the gold edition of the Ulta. Also just a little disclaimer, I've never owned an Apple Watch. Can't really give you guys a comparison between the two. One thing to note with the Fitbit Versa is that it is first and foremost a fitness activity tracker and then a smartwatch. Now the Versa is compatible with both iPhones and Androids. Some of the things I absolutely love about the Versa would have to be number one, its appearance. I love the aesthetic because I feel like it's very sleek, fits the way how it looks on my wrist. Really enjoy the fact that it has some of the smartphone capabilities. Fitbit is definitely known for their outstanding dashboard where it just gives you the whole breakdown of everything throughout the day. It tells you the steps that you've taken throughout the day, how many you've burned, how many active minutes, uh, how many floors you've climbed, how many days of exercise you have done throughout the week. It also tracks your sleep, so that's something that I'm always really interested in. You can definitely go more in depth with this where it tell you when you're awake, your REM sleep, when you're in a light sleep and also in a deep sleep. Really easy to navigate through this. It's a touch screen LCD, just swipe or just tap on the screen. First thing I have here is the exercise, which I think is really important. The main reason why I ended up getting the first set in the first place. So it has different modes, the run mode, bike mode, swim, treadmill, weights, interval timer, and workout. It gives you a breakdown of how many minutes you worked out, your average beats per minute, your um, max beats per minute, and also your calories burned. When you're at the main screen, you just swipe up, and then it will tell you exactly today how many steps how many hours today you hit your 250 mark, which is always optional. You don't need to include that in here. Once you hit your target goal, say if you reach 10,000 steps, it notifies you some fireworks action going on on the screen, which I really appreciate. And you're also able to earn badges. You can also add additional apps here that are strictly for Fitbit. You're also able to include music. Now, unfortunately with the Fitbit Versa, they have two different apps. I believe it's Pandora, and I think it's called Deezer, but those, you need to have a subscription. So you can't be running the free Pandora app, for instance. Transfer your music files if you have an MP3. I believe it has about 300, space for 300 songs. So you can also listen to the music via a Bluetooth headphone. This one is from the brand Studio, which is one of my favorites, or connect it to a Bluetooth speaker. The coaching app, which I thought was really, really interesting. Coming from somebody who's not a fitness expert and does all of my workouts at home I really appreciate how they have the personalized coaching feature so it gives you first a little glimpse of how you're supposed to do the exercise and then it has the timer I'm more of like a visual learner I like to see things it has the alarm feature which I find very useful so it doesn't wake up my husband because it will vibrate I think you could also set the vibration it has the relax mode which I haven't tried yet breathing patterns to help relax you Starbucks which I thought was also really cool that they have this so if you have say a Starbucks card you can load that card in here and you just scan it another really great thing that I love about the Versa is that this whole entire watch is waterproof up to 50 meters so you can take this in the water take it in the shower and not worry about it getting destroyed or damaged I have already tested that whole aspect out in the water I did notice a tad bit of lag when swiping on the screen but it's nothing that's detrimental. I also really appreciate how you can personalize the clock face. So you have different choices when you go into the dashboard. You can download different types of clock faces. I did have a really simple one with a marble background, but I decided to go with this one because this is a picture that my son took of our favorite place, Six Flags Magic Mountain, and I just have the time here. So I just thought that 
you know, this was like a more personalized way. You can interchange the bands. The one that it comes with is, for me, the band is pretty thick and it's not breathable in my opinion. I have had times where, say after a workout, I just need to take off the band because it starts to get a little bit itchy. This is more of like my workout band, everyday type of thing. And then I have one which I purchased off of Amazon. It's also in rose gold, which I really, really love this band because it turns the Versa into more of like a dainty jewelry accessory. Charging your Versa is really easy. It has a USB plug on one end, press the sides of charging dock and then it kind of just squeezes your Versa together and it charges. In terms of it being a smartwatch, as long as your notifications are turned on, you'll be able to receive notifications from Instagram, from Twitter, text messages. You can actually read through the whole entire message. The phone calls, it gives off a really short pulsating vibration when somebody texts you or if you get a notification, it's supposed to have a battery life of up to four days. I have all my notifications on for Instagram, for Twitter, text messages and phone calls. So the battery life for me would last about three days and I just charge it when I'm taking a shower or you know those times when I take off the Fitbit and it charges fully pretty quickly. Now, the downsides I will say about the Versa, number one is that if somebody texts you or you get a notification, you are not able to reply. It doesn't have that capability where you can reply back to a text message or if somebody's calling you and you're unable to pick up the phone at that time, you're not able to text it or send them a message right away using the Versa. It doesn't have an in-watch GPS. So say if you're gonna be running, you need to bring your phone with you in order to actually track where you're going. So now everything is synced via Bluetooth, so you also have to have your Bluetooth on, say if you wanna receive those notifications. So my overall experience and thoughts with the Fitbit Versa after using it for about two and a half weeks now, I think it's definitely worth the price point of $199.95. I think it is a really, really great fitness activity tracker. You get a bit of that smartwatch feel to it, but it's always gonna be first and foremost, at least with the Versa, it's going to be a fitness activity tracker first. Super happy with the Versa and I think it is such a great tool, especially if you're on your fitness journey, something that, you know, will just help motivate you. So that is my review on the Fitbit Versa. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If I happen to miss anything, if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave it down below in the comment area and I will get back to you just as soon as I can. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button as well as don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, turn on those post notifications to be notified of new videos if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys check out the videos right over here you might enjoy those as well thank you guys as always so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video Mwah.